Hitchhot. What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Chicka Figures, your friendly neighborhood commentator, and today we're going to be playing some Team Fortress 2. We're going to be using the Strange Sniper Rifle, the Strange Jirati and Strange Bushwhacker, and as the man down under, we're going to be popping some heads here on CP Yukon Final, and then I think a little bit of Pipeline after that. And, uh, yeah, guys, it's going to be fun. I hope you enjoyed this video, uh, and uh, we'll get to it. So let me start off, guys, by saying that Sniper is far from my best class. It's one of my least played classes. It's one of my least favorite classes. It's... It's not a class I prefer to play. I'm more of a, um, a tactical thinking player. And too many snipers are, are, are focused in on the wrong aspects of playing sniper. Okay, first of all, apparently I've been doing this game in complete, an incomplete justice and, and, and playing it completely wrong. Because apparently the only threat to a sniper is other snipers. Because that's all that I ever see snipers fuck around with. They just sit there, and they, like I said in pre previous videos, all they do is that sidestepping mamba dance in the corner. It's just like, it's like a freaking tango between them two. They can't ignore each other. There are bigger fish to fry as a sniper. Look at the engineer who's camped behind a level 3 sentry. If you don't take him out, do you know how hard it is to take out level 3 sentry without an uber? I mean, so, you might as well take out the engineer and make things easier. Also, you know, using your Jurati is a great, great weapon. It is an amazing weapon. You, I have stopped entire pushes just by coating a couple enemies in Jurati. Also, big targets. Heavy is an obvious one. That big, fat, freaking head on him. You know, he's an obvious target. Obviously, I didn't get him there, but, you know, I mean, I, I took the shot. I knew what I was aiming at. And then, also, the Medic. Guys, the Medics, normally, they, they don't run around a lot if they're not in active combat. So, if you see a Medic... Off in the corner, healing somebody, trying to build up an uber. Take him the fuck out. Come on. Stop messing around the snipers. If you get headshotted by another sniper, whoop de freaking do. They headshot another sniper. A class who has to stand still to shoot his thing. To shoot his uh, bullet. I mean, seriously, guys. It's not an accomplishment, and it's not a disgrace if another sniper starts owning you while you're taking out the rest of his team. This is Team Fortress 2. This isn't sidestep Mamba Dance DDR for sniper. Alright, you need to be focused in on the things that matter. So this is, this is how I like to play uh, Sniper guys, of course, there's, there's a few things I like to do. First there's class prioritization, and also there, there's the positioning of the, how I play Sniper. And like right here, this is on, on, on Yukon, this is one of my favorite, favorite spots because it's so bottlenecked. It gives me a nice, clear slight, uh, sight lines and the ability to really just get the uh, enemy on a level, flat playing field and makes their heads pretty much line up for me. Uh, I still miss a lot, and just like the British SAS will say, it's he who dares wins. And the more shots you take, guys, is the more shots you're going to hit. Yeah, you can miss a lot more shots, but you're always going to miss the shot you do not take. Remember that and live with that. So if, if any aspect of your life, guys, like if you wake up tomorrow and you want to be an astronaut, and but you think it's too hard, remember, you'll never be an astronaut if you don't even fucking try. So, uh, uh, so a little side note and a little, um, I'm trying to think of the word, motivation for you is to always, always... Go after your dreams, guys, because if, if, if someone can do it, then you can do it. And there's no reason not that you can't do it. I mean, end the story. But back to TF2 before I get all, uh, you know, guidance counselor on you. Um, yeah, keeping them flat here, uh, taking lots of shots, aiming for the head. I don't care if I get a body shot on a moving target like that. I mean, that's fine. It's 60 damage. I mean, I'm not going to complain about it. Because the TF2 hitbox is ridiculous, guys. You know... We all know it's it's highly broken. Uh, I mean, you got the Huntsman who can you can you can like I got a 360 no scope. I mean, obviously no scope because there's no scope on the Huntsman. But at the same time, I did a 360. That was the second shot after I decided to do 360s. The first shot didn't work because I my mouse was broken. Sometimes it just doesn't move side to side, and you'll see that in that video. As I jump off, I can't turn, and then I do a 360 and I get a headshot on a scout. I mean, yes, it was kind of aimed, but I mean seriously. Let's put it that. Let's put it at that. And then you have obviously like the stock sniper rifle, where it's just ridiculously difficult. Sometimes you'll see me get a few headshots here, that should have been headshots, and like I think one's coming up uh, on a heavy. I, I swear I got the headshot on him, but apparently uh, TF2 thinks I didn't. That wasn't even a body shot right there on that scout, and that's ridiculous. That was right on target. That was at least on her shoulder. 
So, I mean, it happens, guys. You know, the only time I don't think body shots are necessary is when the target is standing still. You know, you got like a, a heavy coming in that's moving really slow with his gun down. And then you got uh, snipers or an engineer behind his uh, his nest, things like that. Those things, I can understand, you know, you um, you have to get the headshot on that. But other, other times, it's not a high pro priority. You know, I know people do not like me saying that, but that's the way I feel, guys. It's my opinion, and it's always one guy's opinion. If you don't like it, you don't have to. You don't have to like it, and I'm asking you to. But going back to class prioritization like we were talking about before, the snipers are not the class priority for a sniper. The medic is, the engineer, the heavy, the things that you can take out, you know, without a problem. Uh, the reason you were made. Sniper, the word sniper is not, uh, does not mean infantry le level grunt going in, killing everybody, you know. Um, a sniper's job in the military literally is to go after high value targets and take them out from a safe distance to ensure that, you know, it's like a disrupt the chain of command. And it's, that's pretty much what you do when you take on a medic. You disrupt the ability to, for them to push forward. So uh, coming up here on my first F2, uh, let's get that out of the way. Um, it happens, you know, you, you're going to go after another sniper, and I understand if you do. But don't feel bad if another sniper just owns the shit out of you because he's not really helping his team out by taking you out. Uh, also, you know, when you come down to the word, he, can, he the, the sniper considers himself an assassin. Uh, assassins don't necessarily fight other assassins. That's not the, their purpose. An assassin's purpose is to take out high value targets. So once again, you, you gotta go, you gotta learn how to play sniper. Uh, it's not necessarily about having good aim. Having good aim is one thing. Getting headshots is great. Like right here, I get a couple headshots. It's great. But really, it's, it's doing your job and keeping the enemy disrupted, keeping them scared to stick their heads out, keeping them scared to, to, uh, to, to push forward into your sight lines. And uh, obviously taking out the key key components, and uh, you know it's not assassin versus assassin. So those are the those are the, pretty much the things I'm gonna keep uttering on every time I make a sniper video. It's not assassin. This is 1996. This isn't Sylvester Stallone versus Antonio Banderas. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, you're either too young or you're just you've been living under a rock for your entire life. It's a movie. Assassins. Go watch it. It's a funny movie. If you're if you watch it now, I mean. So uh, we're coming to the end of my commentary, guys. I really do hope you enjoyed this. I had a great time uh, doing this, even though it's frustrating sometimes getting commentaries out. And I have a lot more in store. Before I go, I just want to know your opinions on my other videos. Um, you know, I got the, the Gmod co-op. I've got things like that. Uh, I got the Portal 2 face cam challenges. Uh, if you haven't watched those, I know you guys. I know some people are here just for the TF2, but really give those a look because those those show my other you know playing abilities, my quote unquote abilities, and. Um, you know, they, they show another side of me, like, you know, I can play sniper or, or you know, play engineer all day, but, but I gotta figure out a puzzle with a uh, portal gun, and it's like one of the hardest puzzles in the community maps. I mean, you just see the rage going, so, and if you want to see more of those, you gotta let me know, and if you want to see more TF2, you have to let me know below in the comments, and of course, if you have any classes you want me to play, or any kind of loadouts you want me to play, please tell me, you have to tell me, if you're not part of my Steam group, to the description, get in it. It's the best way to know when new videos come out because YouTube breaks down. Uh, also, Twitter is another great way to get in contact with me, and uh, I'm actually really want to have some Twitter conversations. I really want to get get my name out there and, and really talk to a lot of people. I'm actually really friendly. If you uh, if you really talk to me, I'm actually a really nice guy, and I usually try to get back on all my messages. It's just I get like maybe sometimes when I hop on Steam, I get 25 messages in a row. Which is a, a pain in the ass. But uh, also, there's a team speak. I'll put that down in the description below. I'm usually in there. It's Shibby's team speak. So, yeah, guys. And uh, this is the end of this commentary. My name, of course, is Chicken Fingers. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, you know what to do. I'll see you guys on the battlefield. And peace out. Okay, mate. What's <laughs> up,